Hello and welcome back, it's Lozo. We're looking at the new card leaks for the Illusion of the Dark Magician structure deck. And check it out, we've got a new monster popping up right about now. Apprentice, Illusion, Magician, and you can also see the Magic Arebo there. So let's talk about these two cards real quick. Apprentice, Illusion, Magician used to be a pretty big staple in the deck. Now you can kind of just run it as a one-off because we have Illusion of Chaos, which lets you search any of the DM cards and kind of lets you play like a more toolbox style version of the deck. So I've always found Apprentice now only really needs to be at one, though some people might like playing more than one. Its best niche nowadays is discarding it to give 2k attack and defense to your Dragoon or your Shadol Winder to prevent them from dying. That's pretty much this card's best use. You can special summon it by discarding one and add DM from deck to hand. Not that great anymore, to be honest. Um, it's quite cost heavy, like... If you get hand trapped on this, you just went neg two, and even if you don't get hand trapped on this, you just added a vanilla to your hand, so it's it's not great. <laughs> it's not great. Now, here is the boy that was so close to being cracked. Magic Rebo is hella cute, and maybe I'm biased because of this cuteness, but if this card just didn't have this line where you can only use uh, each effect once per turn, and it just didn't say this, this card would be played. Because you'd be able to go Illusion of Chaos, go and grab yourself Magic Rebo, and then when your opponent hits you either with burn or battle damage, you're able to drop the Magic Rebo to the grave, special Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl from deck or grave, and then from there, Soon as they are destroyed, that dark spell cast the summon DM or DMG, Magic Kariba adds itself from grave back to him. This isn't even that good of an effect, and the fact that you would have potentially been able to do this as a loop would have been fine, because I mean, if someone's going to battle phase and they can't kill you because they just keep hitting your Dark Magician and you keep summoning it back, like, that's on them. <laughs> that's on them for losing a Dark Magician, like, I don't know why they're so scared to give us good cards or, or if they're gonna give us an effect like this where it's very battle phase orientated and like kind of very old school Yu-Gi-Oh orientated just don't make it once per turn like just let us keep looping this magic Karibo effect like it wouldn't even be broken like it would be fine like no one would care let us have nice things anyway if you can't tell I love magic Karibo I just wish it was a little better so that's it for the monsters so far, we should be getting some more, but let's go to the spells. We've already had a bunch revealed. Remember what I said earlier about this is shaping up to be more of an anime Dark Magician deck? Well, yeah, let's let's have a look at what we've got. Secrets of Dark Magic, Polymerization, and Monster Reborn. Well, let's quickly talk about those. So many viewers would know, Secrets of Dark Magic is not my favorite Dark Magician card. The fact that it is so slow and requires you to essentially use three resources to make one fusion monster and there's no real way to recycle those resources or really get any value back on them that's quite devastating in a deck that plays like it's 2002 so um yeah this card while being quick play is very very nice for battle phase shenanigans it just misses the mark a lot of the time by being just essentially polymerization a lot of the time you will just use it as a poly if you do get to use it in the battle phase, you probably will know this card is quite good for OTK stuff. But aside from that, it's not that great. You only ever need to play one, similar to why we can play one Apprentice with the Illusion of Chaos, the toolbox style deck, if you will, where you just play a lot of one-offs because they're all searchable. Secrets is highly searchable in Dark Magician, and your Soul Servant is able to grab it from the grave, put it back on top of your deck, and recycle it. So Dark Magician does have this niche luxury where you can play a lot of cards at one, because they're highly, highly searchable, either off rod, soul servant recycling them, or just circle randomly hitting them. So there's actually quite a lot of ways to get into cards like this in DM. So while it's not the best card, like it doesn't have to be. You just play one. It's fine. Whenever you see a list with more than one, it's a bit questionable because like have has anyone read Soul Servant? Just <laughs> just just free ball in here. So yeah, card very mid. We need an actual fusion spell is what I'm trying to say. This is our Shadol, uh, El Shadol fusion to our Shadol fusion, right? We, we kind of need both. I don't know what to say about this card other than, yes, guys, it can target Dragoon Engraver. Monster Reborn, it's a good card to have, but do we really need another reprint of it? But, yep, this adds to the anime theme, huh? <sighs> oh boy, Polymerization. Now, I always say this, Polymerization is a bad card. Any deck that can play and see success while playing Poly is either one, a cracked deck, or two, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Decks either have built-in ways to search polymerization, for example, prank kids, where they genuinely play poly. Otherwise, decks have their own fusion spell or own fusion niches, see branded fusion, see invoked for reference. Now, polymerization, unfortunately, is just so old and simple and just, it does nothing. 
Like, you can open it with a bunch of nothing. Like, what is the value to playing this card outside of playing Secrets, which is searchable and actually good? And yeah, you could say, well, Secrets has to use a Dark Magician or DMG to fuse. Like, what fusions are you making in DM outside of DM-related fusions? So, yeah. Don't play this card if you do get the structure deck. Get rid of it instantly. Magician Navigation. Now, I'm pretty sure we all saw this one coming. This card is actually really good in Duel Links, and you know what? It should still hold up okay sometimes. It's a bit awkward. So what you can do is summon a DM from your hand, and then special a DM... Sorry, a level 7 or lower Dark Spellcaster from deck, which opens up a lot of weird Dark Magician shenanigans where you, you can summon some Dark Spellcasters that are quite good. Um, Knight's End Sorcerer used to be a classic, along with Taiku the Ghost Destroyer. However, there's nothing really that relevant to summon now, and being a trap, it's a bit late by then. If you're playing second, this card's pretty shit, and uh, yep, to be frank, this card is best in the grave. So if you control a Dark Magician, except the turn this card sent to the grave, note you can send it there turn one, and then the negate is live on your opponent's turn, because that's technically not the turn it was sent. You can banish this card from your grave, target a face-up spell trap, and negate its effects to limit the turn. Very, very good. If your opponent gets Pot of Desires and you've got DM on the field and nothing else, great. Banish your Navi in your grave and negate the Pot of Desires. As long as you didn't mill that on their opponent's turn, you're fine. So Navi's actually really, really good in the sense that when it's in the grave and you have a vanilla on the field, suddenly you have a negation and everyone forgets because it's in the grave. It's not a card tied to something on the field and they look at DM and they go, it's a vanilla. So a lot of people forget that Navi uh, affecting grave is there. Besides if you play Duel Links, a lot of Duel Links players know because this is just how the deck was played on Duel Links. Eternal Soul only just came out, well, not only just recently, and it's just, Navi's kind of better in Duel Links because the spell trap negation in Duel Links is huge. And I do wish we could play this card again because it is cool. We just don't really need it anymore because Soul Servant, uh, Magician Soul, sorry, exists and Eternal Soul, and it's just kind of like, well, you just want to use them together rather than this. But the graveyard effect, once again, is something they need to do in future. Give more DM cards cool graveyard effects like this, please. The first fusion of the structured egg that we've got confirmed is Amulet Dragon as a common. Now that's a bit wild. Amulet Dragon is not played. I don't think it was ever played when it came out, outside of people who love playing DM, and I don't think it really will see play ever. Its best niche was being summoned against Sky Strikers because it banishes all spells in the grave, or you can target any number of spells in the grave, minimum one, banish those. And if you do, you gain attack for each one banished. You don't care about the attack so much, though it is kind of good. You just care about getting rid of all the Sky Striker spells as possible, and, you know, not letting your opponent recur any of them. Uh, this card's destroyed, you get to target a spellcaster in your grave and special it. So the whole idea is you're DM riding to Myers and then you die and you become DM again. Not a bad kind of interaction. For the time this card came out, it made sense. It's just still bad. Why? Because it has to be fusion summoned or summoned with Eye of Tomias and Eye of Tomias is still not searchable, which is very silly. It's also a Dark Dragon level 8. If they made this card identify as Dark Magician, kind of like Dragonite, maybe it would see play. And considering there is a literal... Dark Magician riding to Myas on it. I don't know why it doesn't identify as Dark Magician. Considering Dragon Knight is very clearly Dark Magician the Dragon Knight and not Dark Magician. But anyway, this is what Konami be like. And it's quite frustrating. And we have a card literally called the Dark Magician that doesn't identify as either of them. That's also questionable. That'll be a topic of discussion when the Dark Magician's fusion finally gets leaked for the Instruction Deck 2, and we can have a big cry about it together. So anyway, I kind of went ahead and spoiled the last card, but yeah, it was Amulet Dragon, and um, that's what we've got so far. So what, we're only getting two extra deck cards? Guys, we're only getting one other extra deck card by the looks of it. Well then, um... Which one do you place your bets on? Mine's on the Dark Magicians, though it could easily be anything else, but... <laughs> wow. This deck is not going to have you set up for competitive. There's not even anything close to a Dragoon in it. So, um... You know, there's cards in here to help you compete with the meta, as Konami said, like Monster Reborn and Polymerization, I, I guess. Well, I hope you enjoyed this update, and um, I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.